Hey guys, welcome, welcome on in to Artistic License, my stream on Thursday, so we do a little bit of whatever I want. Thank you so much, Katie. I am so sorry to anybody who hopped in on that first round of notifications. Um, I didn't turn on everything and make sure it worked before I started stream, and so of course, things didn't work and I had to reboot my computer. So, so sorry if anybody got double pinged, um, double notificationed, uh, double anything, so sorry. <laughs> It was a pure accident, just uh, just me not testing out stuff beforehand. How are you guys doing? I uh, I popped a peely, a nail peely, doing dishes. So, but I brought, I got my polish. I already put some base coat on there, so that's why it's shiny. Um, but I I brought my polish, so I'll be fixing my nail this stream, I guess. <laughs> Thumper! Thumper with the first! How are you doing today? How are you doing, uh, Kitty and Thumper? <laughs> Y'all, okay. Um, a couple of things, just reminders, this is the same stuff. You you guys that were here on Saturday, you know it is September, so I want to make sure you guys get your discount. If you are planning on renewing your subscription this month, find yourself a buddy and gift subs to each other. That way you can get that 20% off discount, because otherwise, if you just buy it for yourself, then you only get it on like new subs. And I know you guys have all subbed to me at one time or another before, so I want you want to make sure you get that. Surviving, Mr. Tibbs had a heck of a, oh, oh no, I'm so sorry, poor Mr. Tibbs, poor Mr. Tibbs. Um, it sounds like he got it fixed though. I'm glad he got it fixed. Hopefully it didn't break the bank too much. I feel like vet, vet bills are getting to be just as bad as like human doctor bills in the US. Like I swear to God, I, I've never spent so much on a pet's medical care as I have the past couple of years. Now granted, our dog is elderly, so she needs a bit more, but it's like more, it's more than that. Like just regular visits are ridiculous. Um, for the most part, he's still sneezy. Collectively $370. That's ridiculous. I swear it did not used to cost that much for a UTI for a cat, you know? Oh, you took him on Labor Day. Okay. I see. I see. Well, I guess that makes sense. All right, guys. So we have got, we've got a fun, we're going to start with a fun little quiz like we always do. So here it is. Which 2020s Teen drama trope, are you? That's my notes. That's not the camera it's supposed to be. Hang on. <laughs> Let me fix this. Uh, because I had to reboot, I guess it, it changed which display was which. And that was not right. That's also not right there. That's the right one. Okay. Here we go. All right. There we go for real this time. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Let me enter my name. Um, oh, you are a, oh upper respiratory infection. That's so common with kitty cats, though, especially kittens, because they were in a communal, you know, living with their mom and stuff for a while. Basically, I had a bad head cold where you could not breathe through his nose at all. Oh, that sucks. Um, I feel like a lot of times with the upper respiratory infections, um, my understanding anyway is they're really treating the symptoms and they'll go away on their own. But of course, if he's actually having trouble breathing, then take him to the vet. You know what I mean? Yep. Koneko, welcome, welcome. I should be sleeping, but I can be here for a bit. Um, I cannot type. You, I, I can read it. You can type just fine, Koneko. Do the, do this quiz with us. We're about to start it. I just, I just opened it. We're on the first question still. Everybody do this one with me. We're going to find out, um, what, uh, what, what, uh, teen drama trope we are. Okay. So what are your thoughts on school? School is my catwalk. Many people look up to me and some even want to be me. To be honest, I don't really care about grades. I'm usually fashionably late and I ditch class a lot. I'd rather be shopping. I'm more into sports. I'm failing a couple subjects. I can usually be found kissing someone or being sad. Aw. I love school, especially literature class. I'm in a lot of academic clubs. I always have a book in my hand. Um, I would say I guess this is the closest for me. I mean, none of these really super apply because like I just had a very unique school experience, which I actually have a whole stream where I talked about my experiences in the education system. It was freaking wild. Um, so, you know, none of these really fit, but I get this is the closest. This is the closest. Yeah, I'm I'm none of those. I agree, Koneko. <clears throat> oh, he's risk for, for pneumonia. Oh, I got it. I got it. Well, I'm glad he was able to get better, Thumper. Hopefully he continues to get better and it's all fine. What's your style? I always look hot. Lots of backless deep Vs and miniskirts, leather boots and jackets, sequins and metallic. I'm a fashionista. I like to wear chic outfits with pops of color and designer handbags. I'm not afraid to accessorize. My outfits are iconic. Definitely not that. 
<laughs> Something chill. I like wearing blue jeans and neutrals. I don't like to step out of the box too often, but I know how to pull a look when it's time. Preppy and casual. Cashmere sweaters and plaid skirts. I know how to style Ralph Lauren Argyle sweater vest and how to rock a riding boot with some jeans. This, I think, is the closest to me because that's when I was, like, so punk rock, y'all. Every summer, going to the Warp Tour, you know, shopping at Hot Topic. Y'all get it. You know. You know what's up. <clears throat> All teens being sexualized is so fucked up. Yep. <laughs> that's how it be, though. Hey, Jane. <laughs> but you know what? You're hot. I agree. Thumper is very hot. All right. What's your perfect Sunday? A morning workout and then hanging with friends doing something chill. A delicious breakfast with my favorite movie in the morning. Lunch date with my partner in the afternoon and relaxing self-care routine in the evening. Ooh, I love that. Um, waking up in my party dress, spending the day recovering with shopping. <laughs> Studying and organizing my week dinner with my family. This one for sure. This sounds, this sounds absolutely perfect. So this is what I endeavor to do most Sundays, really. Favorite artist, Taylor Swift or Olivia Rodrigo? Olivia Rod Rodrigo is a new thing, isn't she? Um, I feel like I've heard. A Harry Styles or Frank Ocean, Drake or Kanye, Lady Gaga or Britney Spears? Oh, boom. Like, this is not even a contest, y'all. Britney is forever. She's a queen. When I watched 10 Things I Hate About You, my first thing was, hey, they all look like actual high schoolers. <laughs> Uh-oh. Thumper, tell us what your result was. Okay, I gotta finish this. Okay, trendy aesthetic that you like. Dark Academia, Y2K, Green Juice Girl, Coconut Girl. Well, I mean, I literally was in high school during Y2K, so we're going with Y2K. I don't know what that is as an aesthetic, but that's like literally when I was in high school, so there we go. Um, Your toxic trait. Pushing good people away. Being very upset if something doesn't go my way and taking things too seriously. Being a pushover, not standing up for myself self-centered and careless um high school self is closest to this one i would say brainy brunette <gasps> oh no oh my god thumb for that's perfect for you brainy brunette <laughs> if you could have dinner with one of these people who would you pick naomi osaka kate moss megan markle anna winter uh i don't know no I, none i don't like these choices i guess we're going with naomi osaka i don't I don't, none, I mean, they're cool, I'm sure, but meh. <clears throat> uh, finally, what's most important to you? Success. If I don't accomplish my goals, I will fail myself. Love. I want to be loved and share my life with someone I can trust. Power. I want to be the most powerful in the room. I'm a natural born leader that people can look up to. Happiness. I'm here for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> uh, man, definitely this. Y'all, in high school, for me, it was all about... How little class can I go to and how much can I hook up? <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh, and it only got worse as uh, as high school went on. And then college. And I did the same thing, um, except that that actually caused me to have some struggles at the beginning of college because <laughs> you actually have to go to class. Anyway, here we go. Let's see what my answer is. I got the it girl. Ooh, that's not accurate. That's not accurate. But let's see. There's bitchy brunette, it girl, brainy brunette, or quiet and charming. Uh, probably, um, well, I'm not a brunette, but I guess bitchy brunette would probably be more accurate for me, high school me. Karen, we have polar opposite high school priorities. <laughs> oh, thumper. Um, you got quiet and charming, and yeah, I just kind of stand there. <laughs> oh, Koneko, that's cute, though. Quiet and charming is cute. Okay, so this says, you're pretty and fun. You always, you're always getting invited to parties. No, I wasn't. Um, going on spontaneous trips and shopping sprees, definitely not shopping sprees. We did take a lot of trips, though. Um, that's around when my parents purchased their condo, so this this part is kind of true. Um, rich boys love you, but you're more into down-to-earth types. I wish rich boys loved me. That, that would have been a nice change. I, I grew up in, in, the, in a very rural area, so that was not true. Um, you outshine people, but it's not your fault. Sometimes you can be annoying... Being the center of attention all the time, you remind people of Serena Vander Woodson from Gossip Girl, Marissa Cooper from The O.C., Hannah Merritt from Pretty Little Liars, and Julianne Calloway from the Gossip, Gossip Girl reboot. Um, I don't know, like, I mean, it's partly accurate, but, like, not really. <laughs> like, I was still, like, I was the theater kid. I was in, you know, marching band and things like that. So I was definitely not an it girl. It's definitely not an it girl. Um, yep. And if we replaced rich boys with maybe like community college boys, like that's a thing. All right, we're gonna move on, y'all. 
I don't want rich boys to like me. I want rich men to like me and then cheat on me in an at false divorce state. Oh, living the dream, Thumper. Living the dream. If you find a man like that, hook me up. <laughs> it's cool. Levi will be fine because I'll just remarry him afterwards after I get the nice windfall of a massive amount of cash. <laughs> All right. Let's play the game, you guys. Let's play the game. Okay. Let's turn up our volume. Okay. Previously on Final Fantasy X, we got Yojimbo in the Cavern of Stolen Faith. And today we're going to get um, the last Aeon that we have still to get in this game. The last optional Aeon. But before we do that, we have to unlock something. So we're going to get back on the airship real quick. We need to capture one of every fiend in Mount Gagazet. Now we've done all, one, at least one of all the fiends in the first part of Mount Gagazet, but we have to go back into the cave area um, to get some more. So that is what we are going to endeavor to do. So you can do hop on this like cool little dealie right here, and look, we can go like right here to the cave exit. And um, and we're gonna we're gonna try to get some of the aeons that we have not gotten yet. All right, let's see. I've got Kimari, Orn, and Titus. That should be fine. That should be fine. Okay, let's go backwards through the cave and try to get the last of these aeons. Oh yes, I doodled on everything and got in trouble for it. Big mood, Thumper. Big mood. What were you even doing in school if you weren't just doodling all the no time? Worries. You know, it's like required. All right, there's that guy. And then, I guess Kamari can go ahead and attack, but I need to, I need to do a armor break on him. Not having ADHD, I think that's what the non-doodlers were doing. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I have, I don't think I have ADD or anything like that, but, um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I definitely have, like, that type of, that type of symptom. You know what I mean? Like, I always gotta be doing multiple things at once. Um, I only got in trouble once, and that was with a teacher who doesn't know doodling is my stim. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I I don't remember, like... I don't remember any situation when I was that age of, like, feeling like it was okay to explain it to the teacher. I would just, like, get in trouble and just deal with the consequences, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, discovered I was autistic halfway through high school, which was fun. Oh, yeah. I mean, at least you were able to get a diagnosis, though, right? Um, I think that helps. I, I feel like a lot of people I, am, I know didn't get diagnoses of that sort of stuff until they were adults, um, you know, which that's kind of a challenge. To not know all the way until you get out into the working world. Um, oh, that's Waka. That's not Orin. Can I darkness him? I don't think I can darkness the behemoth. Yeah, he's immune. All right. Oh good, that's fine. You can kill Waka. I was about to say, don't kill Orin, please. I need him. <laughs> I need him to do the power, um, power break. There we go. Now he hopefully won't destroy me when he attacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, much better. Yeah, getting diagnosed helps. I still overworked myself in uni, though. Had to take a year off because I legit gave myself depression and PTSD. Holy crap! Um, yep. I never was an overachiever, um, to be honest. Like, my, my mom really wanted me to be. Like, she's very, very academic. And I do take academics very seriously. Obviously. You know, I'm in education now. But, um, but at the time, in school, it was more... I wasn't... It was more like, you know... I was going through school during, um... No Child Left Behind, like the, the very, very beginning of that. My class was the first one that was required to be tested. So it was just kind of like, I don't know, it was different. Like, school was ridiculously easy. And so, and I just don't have, I don't have overachiever energy, I guess. I mean, I want to do my, the, the best that's mine, like my best. But I don't really have like a desire to be the best, if that makes sense. So, um, I was like an A-B student, and I was like, fine with that. I never really like worried about much more. But because school was so easy because of the No Child Left Behind, like, 
I still had an over 4.0 GPA because that was a possible thing you could do if you took like honors and AP classes and things. So of course I did. What's up, lady? How's it going? Yeah, I was in first grade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it screwed up your whole school. Yeah, I didn't. I got it last minute and it was god awful. Literally the worst. We had to be we had to be the first class that got tested. If I had been born one year earlier, I would not have had to go through all that mess. Um, it was incredibly easy because I got the worst of it while very young. Yeah. Yep. Whole big old mess. Alright, so that's the second behemoth. That's fabulous. So we still need to find in this area a mandragora and a dark flan. And we're going to go back into the water area because we have to get one of each of those water guys too. I think I can just walk into that water and find them. Oh good, there's a mandragora. Fabulous. Okay, we don't want Titus because he cannot hit the mandragora. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Waka, Waka, come here. No Sometimes word. I hear horror stories about the American education system like I'm so glad I'm a Dutchie. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Um, it's pretty bad. Uh, <laughs> I have to say most of my actual learning in my life has taken place um, outside of grade school, I would say. Um, I mean, I'm a lifelong learner, so I, I'm always like finding stuff on my own. But even at that age, I was learning more online um, than I was in school. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, I did actually learn a couple things in college. In college, I learned how to make a bomb ass PowerPoint presentation. Um, which is necessary for working, so that was nice. The other thing college taught me was to hate capitalism because when I graduated was when the um, housing crisis happened and there were no jobs. So, you know, that was cool. Come on, let's find him. Isn't this so pretty? I love this area. It's so beautiful. Okay, now one thing I didn't I didn't really anticipate. <laughs> um, Titus has water strike on his weapon, and he's one of our water guys. So I probably shouldn't have done that, because now he cannot help us uh, kill in here. <laughs> so that's cool. <laughs> um, so he's just going to haste, use his haste, and then also um, he can cheer. But he can't actually attack these guys. <laughs> All right, so that that gets us um, two of the Arcaloses and two Splashers, so that's great. <clears throat> yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Koneko, I had a um, co-worker at one point in time that was um, that was a duchy, and. Uh, and, and his, his recollection of school was, you know, just, it was just like a whole other thing than ours, you know what I mean? Um, those conversations were really interesting. How many once in a lifetime economic crisis must I go through before I'm 30? Oh, don't worry, we'll at least have a few more. <laughs> I'm sure we're not done with those. Couldn't possibly be. <laughs> We only have three years left. Three years until what? Oh, until 30. Oh, okay. Durr. What am I saying? There we go. Goodbye, Arcalos. All right, now we need to find... We need to find a male... Male spike here. Apostle, hello! How's it going? So happy to have you here. Let's find... A... Male spike in the water. Just keep swimming. Well, that's not what I need. But I guess I can still kill them. So that's one splasher. Uh, we can haste up Waka. So far, so good. Just playing some D3. Oh, nice! Are you winning? Are you winning, son? I don't know if you're a dude. I don't mean that in a gender way. I meant that in, like, the meme. Alright, we're about to be done with splashers, because they come in such big groups. At uni, I studied Celtic language and culture. Ooh. Oh, that sounds so cool. 
Um, also kind of screwed myself over when it comes to finding work. <laughs> yeah, I got a, um, I got a business degree. I did international business and, um, then I have, a, a Chinese minor, which is fun. Um, you would think like that sounds very employable, Karen. Of course people would find somebody that would dedicate themselves to like learning Chinese, like really, you know, marketable and want to work with them. Well, guess what? It doesn't matter if there are no jobs to be given out. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, I did find one though. I did find one. I talked about that in an earlier podcast. There are, there's uh, episodes, I talked about it in my education episode and then also I think I've talked about it again in the gender episode. Some of my, my work history. Just deep Karen lore. Can you speak Mandarin or Cantonese? It was Mandarin that I studied, and um, unfortunately that was about 12 years ago now, I think, if my math is correct, 2008 to 2021. Um, I don't know, somewhere around there. And, uh, and the answer is not anymore. Yep, 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 it was Mandarin. Yeah, I could, I mean, classroom, like I never made my way to China, so, you know, I was never immersed or anything. But, um, but I could speak it okay. My greatest accomplishment was I got to the point where I could watch Chinese movies without subtitles, which was really fun. You know, so long as they weren't too, like, historical. Like, if it was, if it was, like, um, taking place in ancient China and they actually, like, tried to have the actors speak like that. You know, kind of how, like, you can know English, but that doesn't mean it's easy to understand Shakespeare, right? Um, so if it didn't have too much of that in it, then, uh, then I could watch the movie. Oh, good. Two male spikes. Okay. And then a bunch more splashers. Oh, no. Just one. Alright. Uh, nope. Let's haste Aga on everybody. That's awesome, though. I can't watch Spanish movies or shows at all. Why so? Is it like, is it just too hard? Oh, nope, I wanna just attack. Uh, yep, just keep attacking. Just trying to make sure I don't attack with Titus. <laughs> okay, for Titus, I'm gonna cheer, don't attack it. They talk so fast. I feel, I do feel like Spanish speakers actually speak very fast too. And um, I've been told that, that they don't speak any faster than like English speakers speaking English. But I feel like, I don't know, it feels very untrue to me. And you're like just confirming this bias I have, Thumper. <laughs> um, it's hilarious to use Shakespeare as an example because I took an Old English course. I could probably understand it anyway because Old English is more like Dutch. True, Old English is more like Dutch. Um, than it, it's more like Dutch than it is like English. Yes, 80% German. Yes, it's very, very, very Germanic um, compared to modern English. Even though modern English is pretty Germanic too. But, uh, but not nearly as much as the Old English. Very, very true. I would love to learn Celtic someday, though. I think that would be so neat. Um, let's see. Let's get... No, not on you. On Waka. Um, it just sounds so neat, and it's, uh... It's so, it, it's so different than other languages, you know? I think that's what makes me interested in, in Celtic. I don't know, some, someday when I'm not ha not having like a, uh, eight to five job I have to work, I'll, uh, I'll actually spend the time learning some more languages and things like that, because I would love to. Because in high school I took both Spanish and French, they only offered three sessions of Spanish, so it was like a year and a half of Spanish, and then two sessions of French, which was, which was, uh, um, amounted to a year of French, and I took all of it. <laughs> um, as much as I could. You know, and that was all the school offered. Okay, come here, Orin. I need you to uh, do a power break on both of these guys. Ooh, not dead yet. Surprising. I thought that that would kill him. Alright, come on, Yuna. Bring Waka back. We need him. We need him to kill the Bashura. 
Celtic stuff's really cool. I highly recommend taking Welsh over Irish if you can handle the excessive amount of consonants. Irish is easier for native English speakers, though. Well, you know, once upon a time, I'll tell you the hardest language I ever worked on. Once upon a time, I thought, like, it would be fun to take Japanese. Um, I made it through one semester of Japanese, and I'm telling you, like, the only reason that I passed that class was because I already knew all the kanji from studying Chinese. <laughs> Because they were just using um, the traditional kanji, right? Traditional instead of, um, oh, good job, kitty cat. You want some attention, lady? Is that, is that what's going on here? She's just, like, knocking shit over on my table right there for no reason. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's bring somebody fast in. All right, Riku. Phoenix down her. And... Orin. Oh, sweet. Healer. Uh, Kitty wants to say hi to the chat. I know. She always just wants to say hi to the chat. She loves you guys. All right. Let's power break you. Let me pick up my shit. <sighs> Don't knock stuff over anymore, lady. All right. Oh, I don't want Riku here anymore. Come back, Waka. Every time you say Oren, I hear Oron. Oh, like Oren High School Host Club? Do I say those the same? Oren High School Host Club. Oren. No, but very, very close. I do say them very, very close. Um, so I could see that. Alright, cure yourself, Yuna. And then I guess you can cure Oren. Boom. Auron. What about that pronunciation? What do you think about that? Auron? Farewell. Farewell. I always say Aaron instead of Oron because growing up my favorite movie was Pokemon. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Aaron. Is that how you say the Pokemon name? I can't remember. So yes, yes, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, a Aaron. <laughs> Uh, I love Key and Peel. Got you covered. Thanks, Titus. All right, there's another oh, yeah. Bander Snatch. We do need some more of those guys. We need some more of these Nidhogs as well. So we'll kill him. Unfortunately, AA Ron is my name. Really, really, Apostle, you're an AA Ron. So how how often do people call you AA Ron since that Key and Peel skit? Um, I feel like the skit's kind of old now. But it's very, I find it very difficult to call Aaron's Aaron's ever since that skit. Um, I call them all AA Rons. I'm not sorry about it. I really love doing it. <laughs> um, I love it. It's always a thing. Even I do it. Oh, good. You know, I've never found an, an Aaron that was offended by it. Um, maybe like Aaron's in general are just really cool and chill about their names or something. I struggle with Jake Wellens. <laughs> Jay Quellen! That is so fun to say, I agree. Ah, <laughs> uh, Jay Quellen! Alright, come here, Kamari. Let's get you. Goodbye. Waka, and then I guess we can... Um... No, can we do armor break him so we kill him faster? Freeze it! <laughs> Timothy. <laughs> oh, I need to go watch that skit again. I need to go watch it. Jaquelin. Ah, <laughs> oh, I love Key and Peel. Oh, have y'all seen um what is it called? Schmigadoon. Have y'all watched Schmigadoon? Oh my gosh, I watched that. It's so funny. It's basically a remake of the musical Brigadoon and it's still done as a musical. Um, anyway, the reason why I thought of it is because uh, Key, the key part of Key and Peel, is in it, and he's just fabulous in it. Cracks me up. All right, we're gonna go back to the gate, and we are going to teleport instead over to the Xanarkin Ruins, because that's gonna be the fastest way, I think, to find the last one we need, which is a Dark Flan. Um, he's probably gonna spawn pretty quickly if I just walk down this way a little bit and then that's that's one of each of them at least now we've caught a few more of course but we need one of each of these mount gagazette ones and dark flan's the only one we don't have 
so hopefully he spawns quick. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and kill these whatever does spawn, because we need them anyway. You know, that's less we have to come back for later. So we'll do that. But I really need um, the Dark Flan, so hopefully he won't take too long to spawn. It's funny, uh, we're back to monsters not dying just so easily in one hit as we got so used to <laughs> from um, doing the monster capturing in all of the earlier areas of the game. Now we're back to like it actually taking, taking some time to kill things. Craziness. Alright. Uh, oh no, I want abilities. That's what I was doing. Dark Flan, come here. You're the last one that I need. I don't want to stray too far. So I don't want to have to... There we go! Oh, fabulous. Luck was on my side this stream. I know, I can't hit them. I gotta wait for Orin. Alright, so let's armor break him. You pretty much have to armor break these guys or you're, like, never gonna do any damage. Um, and then if you want to cast magic on them, you pretty much need to do your, you know, the magic break. Alright, let's bring Titus in instead. Miss me? Yes, I always miss you, Titus. You're the best. Didn't quite kill him, but he's almost dead if he's using that white wind. Stop healing yourself! Stop healing yourself! It's over. That's right, it's over. Alright, we'll have to come back here and get more, but the goal of this stream is to go through Remnant Temple. So that means we need to go back, because now we can get the item. So if you remember what I said um, before, is that we have to uh, get at least, capture at least one fiend, one of each fiends in Mount Gagazet to get this particular item that we need for the temple. Here we go. Oh, I meant to do Calmlands. Oh my god, because I was saying Mount Gagazet. Just kidding, let's try again. Let's go to the Calmlands. The final show. Here yes. Here we go. Yeehaw! Alright, let's rent a Chewbacca ball. Yes, I would like to ride one. Thank you. Whee! Indeed, Koneko. Okay. We have to go back to our friend over here to collect our prize. I've been researching specimens you brought from Mount Gagazet and created one nasty beast. Blossom crown! That is what we wanted. We wanted that blossom crown. Want to take a swing at it? First fight's free. No, we're not going to do that because it would kill me. I'll make sure he's always ready so you can challenge him at any time, but not for free. I know, I understand. Is there any others? Did I unlock any others? So you've been gathering mushrooms? Okay. I have been gathering mushrooms. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. I always wonder what a chocobo sounded like is based on until I heard a peacock make that exact sound recently. Peacocks literally quee. Oh, you're right, they do! I never thought about it that way. But yeah, I guess chocobo's sounds are supposed to be modeled after peacocks. They do go quee. Oh. I never put two and two together, though. Yeah, totally. Alright, so Remenim Temple, if you guys remember, many, many streams ago, we actually did come here, and we got the Cloudy Mirror. Um, but now we're actually going to do the stuff inside of the temple. So we are going to jump down here, just like we did before. Yes, that's true! The males are the peacocks, the females are pea hens, and the babies are pea chicks. But the peacocks are so- the peacock males are so pretty, we just say peacock instead of pea fowl. Which of course we do, because peacocks are gorgeous. Alright, across this crazy terrifying bridge, 
Whoa, look at that temple. Oh my gosh. Crazy. Okay, we're going to save right here before we walk in. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's actually go inside. We didn't go inside before. We went around. Oh, what's this? Three. Three. What? That's right, guys. Get your brainstorming going. It's going to be a minute because we got a Welcome fun you. gauntlet first, but be thinking of three names. What is this place? Rimium Temple. Once a great religious center in the Calm Lands, lost after the battle with Sin. And this is your home? What? You got something against company? <laughs> it's a long story. Easier perhaps to show you. You're dead too. Everybody dead. Don't send me just yet. There is still one thing left for me to do here. With the help I can give, a young summoner might just be able to defeat Sin. Well, Yuna, I challenge you. If you cannot beat me, you'll never beat Sin. As an FMK, FEMAK thumper, that is absolutely genius. I agree with Koneko. Um, okay. So guess what, guys? Bogamine's dead too. Everybody in Spear is dead. Alright, let's fight Valifor. <laughs> Before we begin. So y'all remember throughout the game, she helped us out. Um, she, you know, let us do the Aeon fights and gave us perks for our Aeons and things like that. She's the reason that we can teach our Aeon skills and, and increase their stats um, and things like that. But um, but what we're gonna what we're gonna do now is we're gonna fight all of her Aeons. We're gonna fight every single one. Choose your Aeon well, Summoner. Oh, what Daisy Duck's nieces are in English and Duck their Lizzie. Juliet and Babette. Um, I don't know. Huey, Dewey, and Louie are um, Donald Duck's ones, though. Okay, so it really doesn't. It doesn't matter who you use against Valifor. You can use anybody. We're gonna we're gonna use Ifrit, um, just because I think that'll be that'll be fun. But at this point, Yuna is very leveled up. None of these should be too terribly difficult for me. But you can come here when you first go to the Calm Lands and do this first part of the gauntlet that we're doing right now. You do not have to wait all the way till later like I did. But you have to wait all the way till later to completely finish it, so that's why we didn't come here before. Alright, so let's see. How do we want to kill Valifor? Um, we got double cast. Let's use it. Let's double cast um, Waterga on him. Double cast is so OP. I love that I gave that to all my friends last time. Alright, let's meteor attack. Meteor strike! Take that to the face! Cheats. Cheats already doing energy right. Rude! Alright. Um... What do I want to do? I guess we'll double cast again. I was hoping I would get enough stuff to do Ifrit's, um, his overdrive, but I think if I don't kill Valifor, he's going to kill me next hit, so. Bye, Valifor. See you never again. Bye, booby bird. Hope it was fun for you. It was fun for me. Stop. That is enough. Thanks, Belgamine. Ah, you have made some progress. And for that, I am glad. Thanks, me Take too. This. It may come in handy. Ooh, lightning gems. So you get a prize for each one that you do. So let's do the next well, one. Luna, shall we Gotta head out now. It's almost quarter past one in the morning. Holy shit, go to sleep, Koneko. Gosh, that's ridiculous. I never stay up that late. All right, I'll do my best. So we're gonna fight Hello. Ifrit next. Now, are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Have a good sleep, Koneko. Have nice dreams. Choose your Aeon well, Summoner. 
All right, so let's summon Shiva for this one. Come on, kisses. Got some kisses for Ifrit. I'm a night owl, so this is normal, but I should probably try to sleep now. <laughs> yeah, not me. Um, not me. Uh, definitely a morning person. Not really a nighttime person. At all. All right, let's double cast for you as well. And, oh, she doesn't have, hmm, I thought she would have Blazaga. I guess I never taught that to her. I must have run out of items. That's okay, she'll use Blazara. That'll still do a lot of damage to Ifrit. He's not very good against the fire. Okay, let's Heavenly Strike. Rude. Boom! Kick in the face! Alright, let's double cast again. Even if you're not doing weird, crazy double casting stuff like I am, these guys are still pretty easy to beat. Um, you really should not struggle. Alright. Diamond Dust. Best overdrive in the game. Sickest animation. So cool. Other Aeons wish. Bye, Ifrit. I wasn't looking, but I heard the sounds of you dying. Stop. That is enough. I'll tell you when it's enough, Belvinine. I'll tell you when it's enough. Ah, you have made some progress. Take this. Some X potions. All right, let's talk to her again. I will be the judge of your Aeon strength. Are you good enough? I wonder. Well, I've kicked your butt twice so far. Let's see if I can do it a third time. Very well. Before we. Now, are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Choose your Aeon well, Summoner. Alright, easiest one to use against Ixion is Bahamut. So we are going to summon Fluffy. Yeah. Kitty cat! Lady! Stop playing with the cords under there. Please? She said no, y'all. She's like pawing at the cords, the, the ethernet cord. I don't even know, like what's going on? What is she doing? Crazy kitty cat. All right, so let's impulse. Cause I like looking at it. Yeah, Bahamut's got some really sick evasion. Alright, let's double cast some... Let's see, he's thunder, so water. Let's double cast some water. Boom. Oh, I did that wrong. I thought he would... I thought the water would do a lot of damage to Ixion. I guess not. It's okay. We'll just impulse then. Oh, it's because he defended. It's because he did the Ixion defense thing. Alright. That's fine. So I'm about to get my overdrive, and then I can just do the overdrive, and he'll die. You thought, Ixion. You thought. Goodbye, it's Mega Flare time.
Oh man, I thought that would get him. He's gotta be almost dead. There we go. Stop. That is enough. Good job, Bahamut. Ah, you have made some progress. Yes, Take yes, it. yes. Chocobo feathers. So there we go. You get some more chocobo feathers from that one. And it's probably obvious how this is going. Who's next? Shiva's next. Very well. Now. Our yes, we're ready. So she's gonna summon Shiva. Um, and her Shiva has a very high evasion stat. So. You, if you summon your lower Aeons, you know, your less powerful ones, you can waste a lot of time because it might be hard for them to hit hit them unless you're, like, super over-leveled. Um, so we are going to choose um, Anima because Anima should be able to deal with that no problem. Sickest will stay on. When I realized I could get this Aeon, actually get this Aeon, I was like blown away. Oh, welcome, Jonathan King. Thank you so much for following. I just realized I never changed my follower animations. Um, they're still the ones from the Mulan stream. I'll have to fix that for next time. But no worries, you got little cherry blossoms instead of the magic circle. That's fine though. <laughs> How are you doing today, Jonathan? Stop heavenly striking me. I want to be in hell, obviously. Look at me. Alright, let's double cast some fire on you. Final Fantasy Ten is my favorite Final Fantasy. Me too. I mean, it's literally the best Final Fantasy. Um, other Final Fantasies wish they could be as good as 10. The story is just like top notch. Look at the cute dragon like monster. That's right. Stop. That's that right. <gasps> the best Aeon. Ah, you have. Take this. Alright, so you get mega potions from that one. Okay, and there's one more of the required Aeons, right? Bahamut, so we gotta fight him now too. Very well. Now, are you ready? I was born ready, Falcon. I was born ready. I would skip this if the game would let me, but like all other cutscenes, I cannot skip, even though this is the PC version. <laughs> My one major complaint about this remake. Alright, we're gonna do um, Anima again. So, come on, Giggles. Let's go. Hey, ho. Let's go. Hey, ho. Let's go. We rewatched the MCU Spider Mans um, the other day. So, I'm, I'm all up in my Ramones bullshit. With the hey. Ho! Oh, let's go! Love that song. Okay. Um, let's just pain. Let's just, let's just pain Bahamut. Do you feel the pain, sir? Like, when, when you first get Bahamut, like, you think he's big. Like, you think he's massive, but, like, look at his size compared to Anima's size. Like, it's no contest. It's no contest. Anima is massive. Okay. Oblivion. Time to beat you up. <laughs> Almost done fixing the nail that popped off doing dishes. I gotta put on my unicorn skin. So that my nails feel beautiful. Okay. And I just gotta top it.
Get him, Anima. Get him good. That little child, don't even know it, hit him! Goodbye, boy. Stop. That is it. Yeah, it's enough, because your dude died. Ah, you have made take this. Alright, so we get the flower scepter. So that's the other item that we needed. Now we can walk around her and we can come back here. This is a temple after all, so of course there is an Aeon. Yes, we would like to use the blossom crown. But not completely. Yes, we're gonna use the flower scepter too. All right, you've broken the seal. All right, Yuna, do your thing, girl. Do your thing. All right, so um, Thumper gave us the perfect name. So we are going to backspace that. And um, this is our ladybug one, so she can be Effie. We'll just go in order. We'll just go in order. So she can be Effie. Um, there's F. I know my alphabet. Effie. Confirm. Yes. Okay, this is our praying mantis girl. So she's going to be Emma. No, I want two M's. Emma. There we go. Yes. Okay, and then this is our little our little bee girl. She flies and she's tiny. And she's gonna be K. Okay. <laughs> it's great, right, Jane? Okay. FM FMK. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous. All right, so now we're going to finish this gauntlet because we fought most of her Aeons, but not the optional ones. But I bet Belgamine has all the Aeons, just like we do. Are you good enough, I wonder? I bet you're going to tell me. All right, so here we go. Yojimbo. Very well. Now. So we're going to fight her Yojimbo, um, and we're going to use our new friends that we just got. We're going to use our new friends that we just got. So this is the Magus sisters that we're going to use. Um, their mechanic, and also Yojimbo's mechanic works the same way. It's a bit different than all of the other Aeons that we've gotten that have like specific skills that you can teach them. Instead, they kind of do what they want to do. Um, they kind of do what they want to do uh, based on how close they feel to Yuna. And there's all kinds of fancy fun mechanics that determine how close they feel to Yuna um, and all this fun stuff um, that I'm not going to go into detail because like it really doesn't matter. The Maga Sisters, you don't actually really have to fully learn how to do them. You can just let them do what they want and they'll just like wreck everything. Freaking Cree Summer. Cree Summer? What does that, what does that mean, Thumper? Belgamine's a Cree? What, like a Marvel Cree? I have the initials for F M E K. <laughs> right? Eek and then F M K. Okay, so I always just tell them do as you will. So here we go. Oh no, Belgamine's voiced by Cree Summer. Okay. Yeah, every all the voice actors in this game are like super famous. Either they were super famous at the time this game was made, or they're on um, super famous still now. Um, they're pretty awesome. Yeah, so these guys will sometimes take a break if you tell them just do do what you will. But, like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. That bad guy just shit bullets for you. Good guy. Yeah, she's mine. She, she shit bullets for me. So she's good guy. But I just tell them do as you will and, like, they just do whatever. I don't know why you cast death. He's immune. That was really dumb, but okay. I don't know why you keep casting death. You can like kill him so easily. 
<laughs> Sometimes they're dumb like this, but like their stats are so good and you basically get three Aeons for the price of one. So like it really doesn't matter. Like you can just tell them do as you will and, and you'll be fine. There we go. Now he's gone. Stop. That is enough. Thanks. So as you see, the Maga I sisters made some progress. And take this. It make Shadow Gems. So you don't have to do any thinking or anything. It's great. They just destroy, destroy, destroy. It takes to beat Sen. I should be no more than a bum. Yes, exactly, Belgamine. Okay, next Very is well. Anima. Before we begin. Now, are you ready? Or ready? Hey! Lady, you stop that. She just can't handle that I'm talking to you guys. Excuse you. Hey, what are you doing? Stop that. Make you say anima with more awe in it. Anima? You want me to say anima? Is that why anima, Thumper? Why why has her name gotta be anima? It sounds like anima. It does not sound like anima. 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 Thumper, you need to get your ears checked. Hey, don't mess with stuff. Okay. Anyway, we're gonna Maga Sisters this again. <laughs> Getting that camera time. Yes, yeah, she does. Hey, lady. You wanna be star? Come here. Come back here. You can get in my lap. Come here. There we go. We all see little lady. Here we go. Say hi. Hey guys. I'm a little shit who likes to destroy everything. She said it, not me. There we go. Lay down and relax. Go to sleep. Well, cat doesn't like destroying everything. It's part of the job. True. <laughs> it is absolutely part of the job. You see, like, because there's three of them, they get, like, a billion turns. So, that's why they're so OP. Yeah, of course, he's immune. Don't cast death. That's dumb. Sado, that's better. There we go. This is it's the stinger bullets. She stings them. Buffing's really not necessary, you know, you don't have to buff each other. You'll be totally fine without it. Bye, Anima. See you never again. Stop. That is enough. Okay, so next... <laughs> We have to do the last one. Ah, you have take this. Yep. Stamina springs. Okay, fabulous. Alright, so one more. We have to now fight you... her Magus sisters. Very well. Now, are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Ready as I'll ever be. I don't know why they have bug armors Choose on, by the way. Well, <laughs> it's not like something that I've encountered in the lore. Or... I have no idea. Alright, let's use Jingles. Um, just because we haven't used him. And I want y'all to see, see my Jingles do some stuff. Anima's really the best one to use against them, though. 
we're gonna use Jingles, and if they if they kill Jingles, then uh, we'll bring Giggles out. Yeah, pet the doge, Yuna. So he has a, a similar mechanic to the Maga Sisters in like what he does changes based on what kind of affection he's feeling for Yuna. Except that when it comes to him, you had you gotta pay. Remember, he is a um, he is a mercenary, so you pay him a little. He does more attacks. There's formulas for it so that you can maximize how much um, you know bond you get with him based on how much you're paying, so that you don't pay more than you need to to get the boost. Um, but he's pretty powerful, like, it doesn't matter. And at this point in the game, I have money, I'm not really worried about it. So, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I just, I just pay him a little bit each time so he keeps attacking. And he'll do good attacks if he likes you, basically. This is a pretty good attack he's about to do, Zenmoto. This is Overdrive. Boom. And they're done. Belgamine's not that strong. <laughs> so like I said, this should be pretty easy. Stop. That is enough. Yep, that's enough. Ah, you have made. Take this. And for that, you get some shining gems. Thank you. Perhaps you'll teach me again someday. <laughs> that's not possible. Why? You have already surpassed your father. There is nothing more I can teach you. Wow. My work here on Spira is done. Time for me to go. Send her. Uh, yeah, perform sending. Yes. It is in your hands. Destroy you definitely should off to send her. And save Spira. I'm gonna do it, Belgamine. Thanks for your trust in me. Yeah, you wanna send her, because that gets you the moon sigil, which we definitely need. Okay. There's one other thing that you can do in Remnim Temple. I don't know if I can successfully do it, but I at least want to show you guys um, how to do it. But let's go ahead and say it first. So that is this chocobo race. So we did it before, but we just did it without trying to get the chests. And if you get a certain number of chests, you get prizes. So um, if you can win the race while collecting the chests, that's um, that gets you more better prizes, right? Um, five is the top that you can do. I don't think I can actually get five, but we're gonna see if I can get maybe one or two. You win! So since I got two, I should get an extra prize. My nose is so itchy today. Holes hit. One. Chest. Two chests open. Obtained a potion. Alright, so I guess because I hit the poles, I messed it up. Well, apparently you're not supposed to hit the poles. I forgot about that part. <laughs> well, if I had not hit any poles, then I would have gotten um, a mega elixir. Because basically you get an elixir for one chest, a mega elixir for two chests, um, 30 wings of discovery for three chests, uh, 30 pendulums for four chests and 60 three stars for five chests. So I'm going to show you guys the route that you take for the five chests. I'm, I know I'm not going to do it successfully. Um, I tried before stream to see if I could do it better on the HD version and I cannot. <laughs> I'm still, uh, not very good at this mini game <laughs> as an adult. So, and on the HD version with certain things are easier on it, but I'm going to show you all the route. 
Oh, I should have gone back. This is the wrong route. Oh well, we'll do it one more time where I'll show y'all. Let's just go down to the bottom. Oh, we lost. <laughs> totally messed that up. I totally messed that up. Okay, let's try again. I'll show you all the route that you're supposed to take. Um, I'm not fast enough to not run into the walls to where I can actually win it. But let me actually do it right this time. So you can at least see. What you're supposed to do... Thank you so much for the raid, Macamax. Can somebody do a shout out for him, please? Exclamation S O, Macamax. That's two. And then we should go back up for this one. That's three. And then you go straight across for this one. And then past that turn, but then you go up this turn. Yeah. And it's this, that, you get that chest and then you win. But I'm not fast enough to do it without running into walls. But that's how you're supposed to do it. If you are skilled, then you can get some really nice items from there. But I'm not too miffed about it. I'm not too worried about it. So we're not gonna, we're not gonna bother with doing that over and over. You can find videos on YouTube of some people doing it well, <laughs> if you want. But that's the route you're supposed to go. Okay, so let's go ahead, let's go back to Calm Lands, so we can get a chocobo. The final show yes. Yeah, let's go get go. Una's Celestial Weapon. You kind of won in the end, are you winning? Well, I just won the Belgamine Gauntlet and we got the, um, the, um, Maga Sisters. But um, I was not winning that particular mini game that you were watching just now. All right. Oh yeah, Macamax was doing a um, a Pokemon. But I think it, it says Sword Shield, but I think it was like X Y actually, right? Um, randomizer. So he had like legendaries in his party and all kinds of fun stuff. Yep, Y. That's what I thought. Yeah. So I know that says Sword and Shield, but he was actually playing Pokemon Y. Um, how far are you at this point in the, in Pokemon? All right. Almost done, might finish tomorrow. Oh, fabulous. Well, good luck. I hope you are able to finish it tomorrow. All right, we have to go back to the glowing crystal road. It's called a road, it's called the crystal road. It is a road that you go. I'm gonna lurk for a while, have a good rest of steam. Well, thank you so much for the raid, Macamax. I always have to lurk after I raid too. Um, I definitely do the raid and bail. <laughs> I mean, how can you not? Like after stream, I'm tired, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, yes, let's have Yuna present. Wow. Maximum power. Well, y'all know what that means. That means we only have one more celestial weapon to get. Um, and that is getting Waka's sigil so we can finish powering up his celestial weapon. Um, which that's gonna, that's gonna be a lot of Blitzball. <laughs> a lot of Blitzball is how we're gonna have to do that. Um, and I feel like just the past few games I got to where I was actually winning, you know, more consistently. Let's do this. Let's get back on the airship. We're gonna save. Yes. And, uh, let's do... Not yet. Let's, let's actually look at my Aeon's abilities. So you can see because these guys use the that kind of affection system, they don't get they don't you don't teach them abilities. You just teach these guys abilities. All right, is there any fun stuff I can teach Anima? I don't really care about the extracts. 
No, we can do these because we have 99. Yeah. Oh, stop pressing the button. Yep. No, I don't want to use up my fortune spheres. Ooh, we've got 99 soul springs too. Is there anything else that the soul springs get used for? Oh, chocobo wings. But there's no reason to do haste versus haste daga. Haste makes way more sense. And he already has, well, she already has it. Let's see, is there anything else for her little anima? Oh, that takes a lot of shining gems though. And that takes a lot of stamina springs. We're not gonna do that. All right, what about you, Fluffy? What about you? Yes, we can do that. We have so many spheres, there's no point in not. Let's see. Cura. Oh, we must already know Cure. Takes high potions? Oh, I bet I need 99 high potions. Is there anywhere in this game that sells high potions? I'm gonna Google that real quick. FFX buy high potion. Do you know the people farm workers in Lucca? Little robots in Luca. After you kill all the mandatory ones, they show up in random encounters. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like people just steal them. They don't. They don't buy them. Purchasable. It is purchasable though. I might just buy 99 high potions and teach everybody regular cure. I think, because it looks like Cura, like that's too many. It takes too many. Mm -mm -mm. No, I don't care about that. Okay, I guess it's really just those, these things that I'm teaching everybody. Aim, focus and reflex. So I think they've got everything else that they need. What about reflect? What is that? Oh, that's the star curtains. No, I don't really care. Oh. Oh, but I can use the lightning gems that I got just now. All right, Cuddles, let's do you. Elemental things that you haven't learned. Nope. And Snuggles probably has all of them for sure. Yep. Don't care about the extracts. I think I accidentally used put luck on somebody. Oh well. That's fine. Yep, yeah, okay. Alright. Um, so we did that. Do we have sphere grid? Yeah, we do have sphere grid to do. We might as well. Alright, where was I moving Titus to? Oh yeah, back here. Oh, I guess that's that when well, this is as far as I can go. We're backtracking. Not with you, Waka, though. You get some new stuff. That's all that I got for that. Let's see, what do we want to do next? Um, 
It's not even eight yet. Let's do a Blitz Bowl game. We're gonna have to do a lot more of those, so we might as well. Okay. Um, let's do another tournament game. So, we're going against, where are we? We're going against the Killika Beasts. Okay. Should be a winnable game. I really did struggle against the, um, Albed Sykes, though, because their goalie is just too dang good. Alright. Alright, you done with me, lady? She's climbing off the lap. I think she's done with me. <laughs> oh, volley shot. I want that. Volley shot and skewer shot. Okay. Nat pass. That would be good. Um, wither pass. That would be good for you. What about Jasu? Jasu could also get wither pass. Or he could get these tackles. That would be good. All right. Let's proceed. Good job, Rin. That should not be too bad against these guys. I love it when Rin slips like that. Good job, Rin. Swim, Titus, swim. All right, let's do eject shot. I think this, either this one or the next game is the last of this tournament, I think. Not exactly sure. I'll have to go look. How many games we've played. But I want to say there was two games left in the tournament last that, last that we looked. Or the league, I mean. Two games left in the league. Good job, Jasu. Um, yep, let's break. And then we'll do a Venom Pass. Ah, oh, rude! Kulu, Kulu Khan. That's okay. I got a point very early on. So, I should be good this game. At this point... I don't think I can lose against the Killika Beasts, unless I just really totally screw up. Because they're the crappy team. The other crappy team, you know? Alright. Yep, let's Venom Tackle. Good job, Nada. Um, no break. I don't think she's going to be able to pass it that far. Yep. Oh, she did it! Good job, Nada. I need to get... Waka's got to get some better shots. I gotta let them try to shoot or something so that Waka can get, like, you know, sphere shot or volley shot or something. Instead of just venom shot. He can do better. That's not nearly as useful as Volley Shot would be, or Sphere Shot. Got it. Got the tech copy. So I have not watched it yet, but oh, I missed it. So I have not watched it yet, but I'm really curious how anyone felt um, that's listening, how anyone who felt, wow, Yuma, you're supposed to catch it. Um, how anyone felt about the Amazon Prime uh, Cinderella 
that they released. I heard it was god awful, like, like straight up just terror bad. Um, and so I wasn't gonna watch it, but uh, but I'm curious. I do know one person watched it. Landon watched it, and um, she found some things. She found some things to like about it. <laughs> but she didn't say it was good, so, <laughs> so there's that, but I haven't seen it yet. I don't know, I heard it was so awful that I was going to skip it, but after hearing her say that, I'm, I'm considering maybe I should just watch it for the cringe factor, um, just because that might be amusing. Mm, yep, we're going to break, and we're going to do a normal shot. Good job, Waka. The against these, Waka can score way easier, unlike some of the other goalies where I really have to use Titus to score. So we'll get Waka some level ups. That'll be nice. Wow, Verosia. Can't let me have it, can you? Everybody chasing him. <laughs> they were like all four swimming right after him. That was so funny. Good job, Jasu. Good job. Alright, let's break and pass. We'll do a Venom pass. Um, let's actually pass to Nada. Let her get some more time on the ball so that she can level up. Oh, half time. I thought I was going to get to pass one more time before it was half time, but obviously not. Alright. Rin learned Nat Pass. Fabulous. So, Rin. Rin and Nader are my two under level ones, it looks like. Okay, so Jasu can fit another technique, but he hasn't learned any. Ugh, okay. Let's see, anti nap, that might not be too bad for Rin. Um, does she learn anti nap? No. Okay. Yes, let's proceed. What is it right now? Three to one with me winning? Is that what the score is? Yes, okay. Blitz Ball's a lot more fun once you level up and can actually win some games. <laughs> Since this just is just a numbers game, I think that's what I found find most annoying about Blitz Ball, um, is that you can get to a point where you can't win no matter what you do. It's not about skill. Okay, I mean, I do want to be famous, um, is Eric. Like, you are speaking my language, but I'm just saying. I don't think we can have that here. But I would love to be famous. Make me famous, guys. Make me famous. Come on, Nada, you can do it. Get it. Good job. Good job, good job. Alright, so no break. We're just gonna pass over to Rin. And then, Rin, you can pass it right back to Nada. Oh, maybe not. Let's find out. Oh no, he got poison. That's so funny, one of the people is just like sleeping in the middle of the thing. Just taking a nap. <laughs> just just taking a good old nap. Nappy nap. In the middle of the water. <laughs> Oh no, fumble. 
Oh my god, so when I was on that cruise in, in July, I don't think I ever told you guys this story. But, um, <clears throat> we were hanging out next to the pool, and there was this lady, like, it was, there was a part of the pool that's, like, super shallow. Like, basically, it's just kind of, like, you can wade in, in the water, like, it's up to your ankles. It's, like, nothing, right? There was this lady that, I guess she decided she had to sun in the pool or something. Anyway, she, no lie, was laying face down, like, nose in the water. <laughs> and the lifeguard kept coming by, being like, ma'am, are you okay? Ma'am, are you okay? Ma'am, are you okay? And she had to say, like, yes, 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 over and over. And she started getting so annoyed, y'all. But, um, but she was laying face down in the pool. So I don't know, like, what she expected, what she thought was going to happen. Um, oh, shit. DM grabbed the ball. Rude. <laughs> but y'all, don't lay face down in a pool. <laughs> Even if the water is only like this deep. Because <laughs> they bothered her, no lie, her entire layout session. It was funny. Oh, it's Waka. Waka's the one taking a nap. Waka, why are you napping in the pool? That's not where you nap. That's not where naps happen, Waka. Come on now. Gosh, wake up, sir. I don't know if you will wake up. I, I feel like they wake up after a while when they fall asleep, but I don't know how long that takes if they just if they just stay asleep the whole time. Oh, Nada's take copy failed. Oh, I guess they didn't push it at the right point. Good job, Jasu. Always looking out for that tackle. Oh, Waka Waka woke up. Yay. Good job, Waka. You stopped sleeping in the middle of the sphere <laughs> of water. <sighs> like that lady that wanted to lay face down in the pool. Alright, come on guys. You just need to level up, so we're just gonna... Yep, break. Let's pass it back to Nada. Hopefully that will level them up a little bit more, because they're like really low level compared to everybody else. Don't Venom tackle me. Rude! Well, at least he didn't get the ball, but he did poison me. Dad. I don't want to be poisoned, I just want to play sports ball. Shouldn't have to deal with poisoning while playing sports ball. At least Rin slips out of every possible tackle. That's good. Good job, Rin. Uh, yep, let's break. And let's try to get another shot. Why not? Aw. Because Kulikon's gonna get the ball, that's why not. <laughs> that's okay. They can't get- they can't score three times in this amount of time we've got left. We are safe. That's right. Swim in circles, AI. Is he gonna try to shoot in the last few seconds? No, he just chose dribble. Oh, that's so weird. What's wrong with you, AI? Oh, now he chooses shoot. Well, let's Venom tackle you. That's what you get. It's what you get, sir. It's my ball now for the last two seconds. Time's up. Woo! I can swim in circles, too. There we go. Now Nada leveled up some. Alright. Yep, so Titus and two Waka Bulls. Okay. So we've got six wins, one loss, and two ties. So that's six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so then there's one more. Okay, Besaid Oroch's team level is two. Number of wins, eight. All right, let's go back. 
Where do we want to go next? Let's do this. Um, let's go do some more monster capturing. Yes. The final, final showdown, showdown with, with Shin. Shin. Let's get this show on the road. Yeehaw, here we go. All right. Let's go back to the go. Cavern of the Stolen Faith and do a little more monster capturing there. Give me a chipoka bow. Yes, I want to ride. Quee! We still got lots of monsters in the Cavern of Stolen Faith that we need to get. Not looking forward to fighting any thorns, but you know, if that's what the world has in store for us, then that's what the world has in store for us. Those are those little mushroom guys that like destroyed me before. Alright, so we don't have to walk back there if thorns destroy me again. And let's go down into the temple. So I'm just going to teleport to the back, because that'll be the bigger monsters back there. So maybe we'll be able to get some ghosts or tonberries. Because those are the ones that are going to take a while. Oop, actually don't need any Malboros. We got enough of those in the Calmlands itself. So we don't need more. So yeah, if you can't find enough Malboros in the Calm Lands, they pop up here too. Same with Coirls. Um, they'll come up here as well. I won't go so easy on you next time. We're not gonna fight those because they blow up in our face. And you don't really get much good loot from them anyway. Oh, what's this? <gasps> no! I forgot! This is Tarkyo Jimbo. We're, he's gonna kill us. He's gonna kill us. I shouldn't have teleported to the back. I forgot that's where Tarkyo Jimbo was. Dang it! Well, at least I saved. Right before. Yeah, there's no way. We can't even kill Dark Valifor yet. Let alone Tarkyo Jimbo. Alright, I don't want to fight you. Look, it looks like it's not going to make me, thank god. Okay, let's, um, go back to the beginning. <laughs> and let's not fight Dark Yojimbo. That's a plan. That's a good plan. Don't want to fight him. <laughs> Alright, do we still need, uh, epages? Yes, we do. And we still need, I don't think we still need imps, though. I think we might have enough of those. Think? No, we do still need a few more of those. Where are they on my list? There they are. They're technically, um, Dragazette enemies, so that's why I didn't see them at first. Alright, come here, Riku. Get rid of this for us. Ooh, yeah. I'm good, yeah? Sure, Waka. Whatever you say. Alright, so we're not going to go all the way to the back. <gasps> oh, lord. I'm glad it gave me an out that it didn't, like, just make the fight happen. You know what I'm saying? That would have sucked. Okay, so there's a Tonberry. I don't think we've fought a Tonberry yet this game. Yeah, we definitely haven't. Uh, let's bring Titus in. Yeah, I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> he does have a bad feeling about this, that's true. So he'll like slowly walk forward and, you know, if he gets to us then he'll destroy. But until then he'll just use that karma attack. Farewell. Goodbye. But he doesn't have that much that's HP. It's done. So at this point in the game you can pretty much kill him, no problem. Yuna, 
Oh, not here. Kira. And we gotta get ten of those as well, just like everything else in here. So I think then the only... There's only one enemy. Oh no, these stupid bitches again. <sighs> don't kill me. Just don't kill me. Okay, so that's a, that's a thorn down. I can't wait till I have ten of these and I don't have to fight these guys no more. Mm, that pollen is fucking killer. And why do they have to come, like, in three packs like this? Like, why? Why, game? Why do you do me like this? They can't come, like, in a pack that's, like, a thorn and two other things. They get a, it's gonna be three thorns. Alright, got all three. <sighs> At least I have haste. <laughs> so I can try to kill them quickly. Oh, nobody lost too much health. Okay. Alright, I guess there's no time like the present to try to get all of these. Come on, crit him. Good job, Waka, good job. They're just gonna use pollen from Go every time, aren't they? Oh, okay. Um, let's remedy Waka. There we go. Um, well, Oren, you have darkness. Do you have any eye drops? No, I just have remedy. Alright, well. Come on, Yuna. Come on, Yuna, do a Suna. Didn't want to use another remedy on that. There we go. Okay, well, that's almost all the thorns we need. We only need one more thorn, and then we don't have to fight those guys ever again. Thank God. <laughs> They are basically the worst. Oh, what's this? A Valana. Oh, we haven't caught one of those yet. So we'll have to get him. And then there's another Akaj. Okay, come here, Orin. Let's do an armor break on this guy. Got him. See ya. See ya. Wouldn't want to be right. ya. Come on, give me that last thorn pack. So I can be done with them bitches. I'll be right back. And then I can run away every time I see them. Going forward. Not quite what I was looking for. But I do still need both of those, so. I guess it's okay. Thanks, Riku. You did a good job getting that Albed potion and taking care of him. Goodbye, Apage. I'm on a roll. Yeah, you are. Ooh, a ghost. Oh, and I got preemptive strike. Alright, let's see what's up with him. So I think I explained this when we fought the ghost the last time. Is that 
they get different like strengths and weaknesses and like it's it's totally varies so you can see fire and water aren't going to do anything to this one ice only does half damage lightning does better damage so what we're going to do is bring out our lightning man to get him and let's do let's bring in titus got you covered we're gonna cheer so we got. boost Auron up. And then Yuna, come heal Titus up since he's got low health. Oh, Alright. Alright. So you see he casts Doom, and then you have, um, I think it's whatever number of turns for Doom, 10 turns or something, and then the character dies. Oh no, 5 turns, okay. But he's about to die, so we're all good. <laughs> Lady, That's how it's done. what? Do you want back in my lap? Come on. Don't plot in my lap. If you want to play with Oreo, go play with Oreo. This kitty cat, I swear to God. Do you want to be a streamer, lady? I think she wants to be a streamer. What are these? Yowies. Do we need more of the Yowies? We do. We always need more Yowie. <laughs> uh, but in particular, we do need these Yowies. Oh, indeed. Yeah. All right, so then we only need one yeah. more of those packs of Yowies. Maybe we can finish that up this stream. Okay, we need a Thorn pack and a Yowie pack. Not you. Definitely don't, don't right want now. any of you blowing up in my face. Still do need more of both of those. If you say so. I do say so. Steal. Good job, Riku. Another Tom Berry, okay. Wow, so rude. Boom. All right. Come on, Kamari. Get him. At least it takes him forever to take his turn. I had to check and make sure the kittens were not destroying anything too important back there. I'm on a roll. I have no idea what they're messing with, but I can hear them messing in that closet. <laughs> destroying something. Oh no. Don't want that. Run away. Fight like a man. <laughs> yeah, come out and fight like a man instead of just throwing random items at us and then blowing up in our faces. Rude. Thank god that thing's not on the capture list. Because you kind of can't. It's very hard to make the... to get a lot of items out of that guy. Already caught enough Malbros. We're good with that. I'll be right back. Excuse me.
we had Zaxby's for dinner. It was really good, but maybe a little bit too much fried food. <laughs> I won't go so easy on you next time. I've gotten so used to when it comes to fried food, just making it in the air fryer. So it's pretty rare that I have like for real, actual like deep fried fried food. So it's kind of a cheat. Oh, another tonberry. Wow. Don't kill Titus. Let them come. Boom. Well, at least Orin can survive the karma. <laughs> By Tom Berry. Okay, I actually want the one more thorn pack because I really want to be done with those. Oh, a ghost. Okay, well, I guess we can do that. Um, so this ghost is wanting to be hit with ice. So we're going to bring out our Iceman. Oh, he did not do a lot of damage. That's not good. Um, Titus, come here and give him haste. My turn now! Mm, is he immune to... He's probably immune to breaks. Yeah, I knew it. You know, Orin is doomed. All right, come here, Lulu. We need to do some black magic. Yes, definitely. Mm. Oh, that's just not even gonna do anything. Um. I guess he can guard. I don't want to kill him. We're going to do a regular blizzard. So I don't think that'll kill him. There we go. It was better when it, the ghost was weak to lightning. I get those big hits with um with Orin. Bring back the lightning ghost instead of the ice ghost. Okay, here we go. Ha ha! Last pack of thorns. Fabulous. All right. Got one. Here comes the damn pollen. So rude. Oh, that's right, I have Lulu. No, keep attacking Lulu. She eats the magic. Good job, Lulu. You woke up. Goodbye. Never want to fight a thorn again. Alright, maybe I can get an, a Yaoi pack as well and I can be done with those guys too. 
I we'll still have a bunch of stuff in this area to fight, but at least I will have those two monsters down. So we'll still need um, Valahas, Dark Elementals, Apajas, Ghost, and Tomberries. Nope, 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 nope. I'm never gonna fight you again. I'll be right back. We will not be right back. We will never be back. We are never, ever, ever getting back together. Oh, there we go. I need some of you guys. All right, so Ooh, we need ice for him. Come here, Kamari. That's a Nidhogg and two Dark Elements. These guys are a little bit annoying. We fought some before and we can kill them. Just takes a few hits. We actually need two more dark elements after this. After these two, we only need two more. So we're almost there for a few of these monsters. All right, but it's time to run back out. It's almost time to say goodbye. So we need to get to the save point. No, not you. You are not the save point. Live and let live. That's right, live and let live. All right, so next time when we play, we are going to be finishing up a bunch of monster hunting areas. So we're going to be finishing up here. We're going to be finishing up in Mount Gagazet um, so that we're all caught up with monster hunting. And we're going to be playing some more Blitzball. So next time we play Final Fantasy X, that's what we're going to be doing. But it's going to be a minute before we play Final Fantasy X again. So let me save and get out of here and I'll tell you guys about that. Okay. Close the game. Okay, so on the next episode of Artistic License. What we're going to do is we are actually gonna be playing um, a remake of a game from my childhood. So one of the early computer games I played was Myst. I played it back in 1994 when it first came out for the PC. Um, I was I was a, a, wee, a wee little girl at that time. <laughs> and um, that game, I just, I don't know exactly how to explain it, but Look in the door. I do feel like, oh, mute twitch i do feel like that game like is a big part of why my brain is wired the way that it's wired i know that sounds crazy to, to uh say a game did that but um but it did it did <laughs> um so we're gonna be playing that now it is a first person game and for y'all that don't know i get really bad simulation sickness um so what that means is that uh, I, I can't sit and play that game for two hours without some significant um, changes. So I'll show you guys what I did to be able to play this game because I did test it out and, and play through the new one recently. And another thing that we're going to do is instead of having the whole game crammed into one stream, which I mean, I basically have the puzzles mostly memorized or it's slightly memorized um, with notes. So... I could do it all in one stream, but we're not going to do that because it will absolutely wreck my simulation sickness. I'll, I'll get really ill. So instead, we're going to do two short streams. I've already decided how I want to break it up. And um, you guys are going to get to see one of my um, literal all-time favorite games. Like, this game is is uh, is very, very close. Is very, very close to my heart. So I'm really excited to share that with you. Um, and that being said... We're gonna find someone, we're gonna find someone to raid, guys. Okay. Let's see. All right, it looks like this newish person to the, this newish person to, to Elixir um, is live right now. Her name is the Queen Liz. This is Elixir, by the way. I'm putting it into the chat. So this is the uh, streaming, this the Twitch networking Discord server that I'm a part of. All right, 
Okay, she is playing. She's not paused, I don't think. No, she's on her... Oh, there she goes. Okay. I was like, she's, has she not started playing the game yet? But she has started playing the game. She's playing Genshin Impact. The Queen Liz underscore. I think that's how... It looks like that's how her name is spelled. Yes, there we go. All right, guys. So um, as always, of course, don't forget to make it a great day. I will see you on Saturday for um, ranking all of the Disney um, live action remakes, or I will see you on Thursday for Mist um, 2021. Thank you so much. All right. Bye, guys. See you later.